Hello, everyone. My name is Ahmed Rafai. I'm a PGY2 internal medicine resident, and I'll be presenting our QI project today. It is uh, standardizing vascular access for internal medicine residents in our community hospital. So a little bit of background. Vascular access is an essential component of medical practice, and medical residents need to have the necessary skills to perform this procedure effectively. Standardizing vascular access can help ensure that residents have the skills and knowledge required to safely and effectively place vascular access devices. This can include central lines, arterial lines, etc. In our hospital, we observed a lack uh, of vascular access protocols, uh, which was contributing to uh, issues including delays um, in our intensive care unit. The choice of vascular access depended on multiple different factors, including attending physician preference, resident availability, consultant physician availability, as well as nurse familiarity and product availability. So the aim of our QI project is to standardize vascular access protocols and training for residents aiming to reach 50% vascular access protocol compliance in one year. So for methods, um, the Institute of Healthcare Improvement model was used for this quality improvement project. A multidisciplinary team, excuse me, a multidisciplinary team approach was utilized, including vascular surgeons, ICU physicians, residents, faculty, and nurses. The Plan, Do, Study, Act, or PDSA cycle was used to test change. Our team created a pre-intervention survey for the residents to determine challenges residents face when vascular access is required in the ICU setting. In response to survey results, as well as additional contributing factors, a simulation lab was created for residents to practice placing invasive lines. Additionally, interactive lessons and lectures with POC ultrasound, along with plans to train residents to place invasive lines on patients in a one-on-one -on -one manner were created. An algorithm was created to guide residents about appropriate selection of vascular access for patients. For our results, our pre-intervention survey results showed 44% of residents reported they were not yet certified in placing both arterial lines and central lines across all three PGY levels. Additionally, 89% of our residents who, res who responded reported that they were not aware of the hospital's policy on vascular access and where to find it. This appears to be reflected in the low level uh, of comfort of placing invasive lines as only 55% of residents reported they were comfortable placing invasive lines. The majority of residents, about 89%, reported they wanted additional training on placing invasive lines with particular interest in sim labs uh, and one-on-one -on -one training. In conclusion, we recommend that medical residents receive formal training in vascular access and that a standardized curriculum be developed to teach the required skills. Furthermore, we suggest that a standardized approach to selecting the type of vascular access device and site of insertion should be developed with consideration given to patient factors such as comorbidities and anticipated duration of therapy. Standardization of vascular access will help ensure that medical residents have the necessary skills and knowledge to perform this procedure safely and effectively thereby improving patient outcomes and reducing complications associated with vascular access. Now, current intervention for our PDA cycle, including the above-mentioned sim labs, uh, as well as the uh, lectures um, uh, and interactive lessons, um, is currently ongoing. And post-intervention post data excuse me, uh, collection will follow shortly. And this will include uh, a survey following completion of training. Thank you so much.